Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 445th session on a nice Saturday morning on a special day for us here in our house. My dear wife is turning 60 today, so we are celebrating that. And she's still sleeping, so I get to speak to you for a while. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Shall we get I want to add red rose has become green rose because it's going to be evergreen. Exactly. You got the picture. Very good. I mean, you should have been a poet, you know, Vetri. All right. So uh, here we are on Empowering Morning Sessions. So welcome to all of you who are there with us live and welcome to all those who may be watching us on YouTube. So just that you know that coming here every morning is an opportunity for you to start creating your life, not just living it, you know, not just living a life that has been handed over to you or not just a life that you have to live where you have no choice, you know? So mostly it's all about surviving, maintaining your job, maintaining your relationship, maintaining this and getting that and living to fulfill the necessities of life. So is life more than that? It certainly is. So one way to find out is that how many of your hopes and dreams did you give up when you were a youngster? Now one day, someday, and that one day, someday never came. So even now you have an opportunity to go for it and create it. So before we talk about today's topic, is there anybody who wants to say something about your experiences in the last one or two days, or you wish to ask any question? Let's do that while we wait for a couple of other people to join us. So let's make use of this time. I don't want others to miss it. So we can start with the sharing today or any other insights that you have. Okay, so we have two people who have raised their hands. One is Conan and one is a Lady Shakti. So Shakti ko normal, we have to give priority to the Shakti, Nari Shakti especially. Yes, Nari ji, please go ahead. And Reddy Garu also is there. Good. Uh, so actually uh, yesterday, um... I was uh, doing some clearing for uh, some relationship. Then I have realized that how many points of view I am having defending an affront is like, <laughs> like each and every person I'm having this kind of transactional uh, relationship. Mm. Yeah, this uh, interesting uh, point of view I had, sir. Yeah, so and how much is it limiting us? No? So much, so much. And what does it stop you from having all this poet? Uh, I don't, I'm not uh, allowing with them. I'm not being vulnerable with them. I don't, actually, it's not a true relationship. Yeah, there is no ease and joy in that relationship. Yes. Right? Yes. It's always an unconscious struggle. Sometimes it's a conscious struggle, sometimes it's an unconscious struggle. Yes, sir. Right? So isn't it nice to be with people and feel good? Or you're feeling tense ke any moment there'll be an argument? Yes, with some people it's it's like any time. If I'm going and doing some uh, it's like conversation, it may be go into argument. So better make a comfortable distance. Uh, it won't make any argument. Interesting insight. Thank you very much for sharing it. Yes, um, after that we have Conan and then we have Reddy Garu. Kunan is wearing a matching shirt with a flower. Thank you, sir. Uh, very good morning, one and all. Yesterday, I was uh, reflecting upon uh, my own various uh, point of views. And uh, why do I have some resistance? So I realized that certain point of views are very rigid. But also, I uh, 
realize that I have certain point of views about others in terms of morality and consciousness, not consciousness, conscience. And I was just thinking, what is the difference between conscience and conscience, the moral values, etc. So I couldn't reach to any uh, uh, conclusion. So I thought I'll discuss with you sometime. But uh, my realization was it's very important to have the right moral values so that I don't create the point of views which is destructive. So that way I was reflecting upon certain thoughts. Thank you, see, sir. Yeah, that's a good point. See, for you, see, the morality is different in different cultures also, you might have noticed. Right? What is acceptable in Japan may not be acceptable in India, etc. Like morality you're talking about, right? But if you have a certain definition of morality and if you don't live by that, then you're not in integrity. That is why morality. Morality is a part of integrity, but Integrity is not morality. Are you getting it? So if you have a definition of morality for yourself and you live by that, then you are in integrity. But if you are judging somebody's morality, I mean, why would we, I mean, want to judge his morality? Not judging, sir, evaluating which uh which is there. There are certain people, they don't have the right moral values. Yeah, then you can choose not to associate with them. Yeah. You can, see, right, wrong is your own definition, right? Or something which you believe. Like in some cultures, it's wrong to have more than one wife, right? In some culture, it's perfectly all right to have four wives also. So where is the right and wrong in that? So somebody who comes from a culture where they say, Ke ek yo ni chahiye, he will be judging this fellow and say, Ke yaar, what an immoral man he's got for. Are you, are you getting what I'm trying to say? Yeah, right. So like in Japan, I believe it is quite normal for a woman, like a wife, to entertain her husband with a Giza girl. Okay, that's not acceptable to you or to me, is it? So for them, it's perfectly moral to do like that. Are, are you getting my point? Right, sir. So, I think if we have a definition of morality for ourselves and we live by that definition of morality, we are in integrity. Right. So, there is no... That way we will not be judging, no? That's allowance, bhaiya, uski belief system hai. Like I was reading about some tribe in the northeast where they have a hut, you know, the young people are put in the hut over there when they are about to reach maturity so that they can, you know, explore things. Now that's not acceptable to us, is it? But it's perfectly acceptable in that tribe. Now you may say okay, it's a bad tribe, we should stay away from that tribe. But that tribe, they don't have any murders because there is no jealousy. So actually I'm thinking that where is that question coming from? Yeah, actually, I was actually, also thinking. Can you tell the question again? It's a very interesting question. Yeah, no, it's, it was a thought, uh, like as you rightly mentioned, uh, different culture have different uh, practices and maybe moral values, but there are certain basic human moral values. Like, yeah, like thou shall not, you should not kill another living being. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if there is a, some somebody who's a killer, and have you noticed that? Some people did not have any judgment about a decoit or a killer. So that decoit and a killer became a big saint. And maybe why not? That a holy man who had no point of view, no opinion, no judgment about that man. And that man came in the presence of, uh, you know, the, the bad man. He comes into the presence of the holy man and he's transformed. See, it's a very subjective thing, right? Yeah, thank you, sir. Our, so what's our interest here? Uh, in, in EMC, our interest is whatever stops me from creating my life by choice, I'm dealing with that, correct? 
anything that stops me from having integrity in my life, I'm dealing with that. Right? Anything that stops me from living life powerfully, I'm dealing with that. Right? Anything that will help me to expand my consciousness, I'm dealing with that. See, why, why do we say, let's not have judgment? Now I have, in fact, it's a very good opening for, uh, for today's topic, what you have, this question that you have raised. So I'm so happy about that. So think, our purpose in life, even if you are born is for expansion, right? We are not here to uh, contract, are we? Aren't we here to expand? Okay. So when you expand, do you become inclusive or you become exclusive? You understand inclusive? That I'm willing to include everybody in my life. Like Shakti was sharing that when she was trying to deal with relationships, she realized how much she is pushing, not including many people, right? Because of judgment. So the more my experience in life is the more your consciousness is, the higher your consciousness is, the more inclusive you become. You don't become exclusive. Exclusive means I will only include those people who think like me. I will include only those people who agree with me. Yeah? That is in exclusive. Those who match my moral values, I will only include them in my life. Rest are not worth dealing with. You understand what I'm saying? So the question might arise, why should I do that? Why should I expand my consciousness? Why should I live my life by creation? Even the, you know, the hermit, uh, sorry, the people who live in monasteries, they are having a very secluded life, right? They live inside the monastery. They don't come out. They have to eat the food that is given to them. They have to live by the rules of the monastery. They have to wear certain type of clothes. So they are in the monastery. Are they confined and defined? And very interesting point of view, I was thinking on this. They are there so that they can expand their consciousness and become spiritually inclined. Uh, what is that? Enlightened. So that they can become spiritually then there are these people who wander, you know, the hermits and all, which are wanderers, they are also seeking enlightenment by being in the world. So some people want to be away from the world so that they don't get affected by distractions of the world so that they can get enlightened. Then can they live in this world? I mean, if there is a point of view that if you live in this world, there are too many distractions over here. So the only way to be living at a higher conscious level is to go and live in a cave or away from society. Then will you always live like that? So I can, I'm saying, hey, how about living our life every day with our family and being a more conscious being? Anna? I mean, we have not decided to become saints or go in the forest as a hermit or something like that, isn't it? Good. So let's think on it. That's why we are here for. Today's uh, question has raised so many thoughts in everybody's minds, isn't it? Yes, Reddy Garu. Good morning. Good morning. And how are you today? Yeah, much better, sir. Uh, now I can hear some more energy in your voice. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> sir, uh, just uh, I was unwell for two weeks, but I was always in my default mode. I never thought of about uh, whatever we discuss in uh, EMC all these days. What is the reason, sir? How do I know? I mean, I think you were, you remember that we talk about our attention gets stuck. See, your attention was stuck with your illness, no? Yes, sir. See, when you are ill, where do you want to put your attention? More on the illness or on what, you know, 
on how to get better or do something yeah. to make better so a lot of people when they are in a state of illness they are total attention oh pain see these things they take your attention away you know okay sir okay so maybe that you now see this is one very powerful thing that people who want to live consciously they will practice getting their attention in their control and taking it where it should go okay not where it automatically goes so when we okay. are sick, where it is going automatically oh i am yeah. not well oh i got this pain oh i am feeling weak yeah what's written here stop blaming start living yeah so when we are ill which mode are we in usually we are in the default mode of uh, worrying about health yeah, all this blaming situation yeah. right yeah. now that does not make you bad person but it means ki we have to work on getting our attention yeah yesterday evening only my wife was uh, joking with me she said you know you were in the hospital with that heart thing yeah. and you were joking and laughing and we were all getting worried that you are fighting for your life and you are joking and you know so i was telling my son at that time it seems i've got this very expensive uh, steel bottle you know so she yeah. said hey, sir you are battling with your life and you are telling your son don't give that bottle to her it might be <laughs> <laughs> Where was my attention? Okay, you know I have two steel bottles. One is a very expensive yeah. one. One is a normal one. And she was there in the reception, you know, and uh, yeah. late at night, so she might sleep. So I'm telling my son, don't give her the expensive one. Give her the other one. <laughs> she say you are not bothered about your fighting for your life, and you're saying give her the other bottle. Yeah. See, <laughs> point is, you can put your attention where you want, no? Okay, sir. Okay. So I was just thinking, why was I? I mean, even when the doctor was putting my stent, you know, I was conscious. Sir. Did not sir. put it under uh, general anesthesia. So yeah. I was joking with him and saying, "Listen, don't put that thing in the wrong place. You better be sure you're putting that uh, pipe in the correct." <laughs> you know, <laughs> means laughing. He says, "Don't make me laugh." I say, "My hand will shake." I said, "Then, so definitely you'll put it in the wrong place." <laughs> Okay. See, where are you going to put your attention? Sir. So we need to practice that exercise. You know the exercise, okay. right? Maybe yeah. I'll practice it today. Okay, sir. Right, thank, thank you. you sir. Thank, thank you, very much. Good question. Yes, Pooja Giran. Uh, hi, sir. Ready, sir. Uh, hope you are fine. I just want to say, uh, we have this EMC group with wonderful people. Uh, if anybody is sick or dealing with something, if they can post, so we can support you. Uh, even if your attention is getting there, I mean, we can support each other to yeah. shift the attention <laughs> and focus. Yes, we can do that. Okay, so let's come to the topic of the day. I'm going to make a statement and I want you all to think, oh, by the way, oh, that's Rama. Let's all say uh, he's becoming a rare commodity. So let's allow him to say something. Good, good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning. Did you get in touch with that, Anjum? Yes, yes. Uh, we have postponed to next week, not this week. Are Baba, why? Because of you or because of her? Because of me. No, sir. <laughs> but that one needs your support. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I'm, I'm there. I'm following it up and I will make sure it happens. Okay, so after a long time, you are to be seen here. So do you want to say something to everybody? Uh, first of all, wish a happy birthday to uh, ma'am. Oh, yeah, certainly I will. Yeah. Thank you. So it, it's, it's always um, you know, uh, great to be with the EMC team and uh, I'm even though I'm not in the video, I keep listening to uh, every day, sir. So I'm, I'm definitely, you know, keeping in touch with the topics. Only thing is I couldn't come over and talk because I've been busy with this or that. Mm. Otherwise, I'm there always. So thank tomorrow, you. Tomorrow morning, we'll keep you busy by talking here. Okay? Yeah. All right. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. All right, so here's the statement that I was telling you about. When you define you, you confine you. 
when you define yourself, you confine yourself. So think about that statement for a moment and then think, how am I defining myself? And by defining yourself, what are the things which you are not able to do or not doing? What do you mean by confine, sir? Can you please? Confine yourself. When you confine yourself to the room and you cannot go out. Okay. Like confinement, you know? Restrict. Yeah. See, after a certain age, we start defining ourselves as old. No? Even if you don't do it, others will do it for you. Hey, you are old, don't do this. In Bombay, they'll start calling you Kaka, Tata, whatever. So there are many of us who are, let's say, to be called senior citizens. So how do we define ourselves as senior citizens? And how does that confine us? Confine, restrict, whatever word you want to use. When you are confined, you are definitely restricted. You may be restricted and not confined, huh, by the way. But when you are confined, you're definitely restricted. So we'll not get into the semantics of it right now. So look and see, you know, why don't you say what's coming to your mind? How are you confining yourself? Like I hear this from a lot of parents about their daughters, you know, who are getting on in years and they are not marrying. You better get married. You are getting too old now. Nobody is going to marry you. Now they are defining her by age, is it not? We heard that one, many of you. So I was confining myself by defining myself by saying, hey, listen, now you're too old. You should not be dancing with the young people. Until one day I just decided, and I was actually used to feel very stiff, you know. And I had a lot of excuses like, I don't like this music. This is not my type of music, right? I mean, recently I was there in Udaipur and with both the groups, I and there is an exercise where I make people dance, you know, as a part of the activities. So I was not dancing. So one person called me and I just jumped in and I was dancing better than many of those uh, fellows. The young fellows who were hanging on, not doing anything. So I asked one fellow, why are you not dancing? I can't dance, sir. Is that a definition or not? So it's a specific question, which I hope you can answer so to the benefit of others. Because when you share, others will realize also, oh, yeah, 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 I'm also defining myself like that. So I just get one example of mine so that it will get the ball rolling. So who wants to go? Me, sir, Pooja the side. One minute, one minute. You are, did you raise your hand, Pooja? Oh, sorry. No, I'm judging you. <laughs> so after Puja, we will give you the benefit of because we've defined you as a lady, no? So we are saying ladies first. So ladies first and then go in. Thank lady you. Lady. So uh, when I was uh, just in bad mood due to few experience of matrimonial proposals and uh, I was not feeling good inside. Then uh, I stopped going out. I mean, I was at times I was feeling like nobody should see me like a body or commodity or something like that. Oh, right. Right. 
yeah i was in that situation and i was growing up then people i was the first student from my village who was uh, because i got selected from uh, for navodaya and uh, after 8th standard my parents uh, bring me back because of one of the incident in my hostel so they want uh, me to uh, be with them and uh, i was the first one from my town uh, going in roadways buses wearing a skirt top and everybody was watching me like and i i was thinking like ki mujhe chhota bachcha hi rehna mujhe bada hi nahi hona and nobody should watch me like that ha ki chhota mere ko chhota bachcha rehna hai that's the way you are confining yourself by your definition also with my age matlab normally india mein sochte hain log ki ha this is the age of marriage and uh, मतलब मैंने शादियों में जाना छोड़ दिया था बिकॉज आई बिकम अ डिस्कशन एंड सेंटर ऑफ अटेंशन राधर देन जिसकी शादी हो गई है कि इट हैपेंड यप सो दिस इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ हाउ व्हेन यू डिफाइन योरसेल्फ यू स्टार्टेड कन्फाइनिंग योरसेल्फ टू बीइंग ओनली सर्टेन टाइप ऑफ अ पर्सन एंड देन द रिजल्ट वाज दैट यू स्टॉप गोइंग फॉर वेडिंग्स एंड स्टफ एंड यू वर थिंकिंग ओ आई विश आई स्टे लाइक अ चाइल्ड फॉरएवर आर यू फ्रॉम हरियाणा पूजा uh no sir i am jamshedpur born but my mom dad get settled in haryana before my birth so And my education is in haryana no yes yes from kurukshetra university Good so thing. also right now i can see uh that mera apne bare mein opinion hai ki i am like this 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 and this ha uh, wo sab definition hai i'm i'm very sensitive i am like this i'm like that so i should uh, find a soulmate like that <laughs> mm. so that is also i am defining myself and because of my definition of myself i i might be not exploring a few good people who are not like me but they are very good people so exactly. over a period of time it became my definition i am like this so i can adjust and i can go along with only so many uh, yeah 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 so you have confined no so you have limited your choices in life also yeah in, initially i was very free i was very open i explored a lot but later on with my experiences and of world and people uh something i i became extra conscious oh, and i also a uh, limited my criteria that i'm uh, see pehle khud ko pata nahi hota hai aap kya ho so what you are saying i mean what you are saying in many words i am saying in one sentence ki you have limited your choices in life na by your definitions yeah hmm. good thank you for sharing that thank you sir yes kunain sir yes sir thank you i think it's a very powerful statement uh, because uh, thank you for your judgment and no it's, it's a evaluation it's a fact and why it is uh, the fact is uh, our mind is always uh, trying to uh, define not always yes it defines everything uh, mind to. mind puts us in the cage in the box exactly. as you always say that right wrong and Good. when we confine we limit we limit with the point of views of no change yeah. this fixed point of view right. no change and it it limits us and that's how the mind has been designed but we are limitless as you always say that we are energy being and we have to be aware if the mind is limiting us in a box in a cage while we are not we have to come out of that so we 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 can't define ourselves we can't confine ourselves we are limitless expansive yeah so that's what should be awareness every moment nothing is impossible everything is possible as we say possibility seekers yeah. so instead of saying should be can we say it can be the way we can live our life should is again confining and defining na no? yes all shoulds become dogmas and dogmas are confining true see there is a tendency also among a human beings ki acha fir abhi ye wala formula use karne ka we should do like that however if you are conscious ke hello i am defining myself and what is it that awareness itself will you know 
there will be no need of uh, should or a dictat. Are, are you getting it? You will be in that state of being, which is okay. Why am I defining? Why am I judging? You know, ho jayega. The Thank you. Beautiful sir. thing to realize because see, look, I've been in this transformational training business for more than thirty-five years. So what are we doing there in those trainings? Creating a change in the mindset. And people will always tell me, Ki, sir, wo kya hota hai? Ki maximum it lasts for 15 days and then we go back to our default mode. Okay? Because that's the default mode. It is like a quicksand, you know, dal dal hoti hai na? So, wapas hum dal dal mein chale jate hai. That's one of the reasons why I was so passionately interested when Vitri said, let's do this every day. I said, I've had a dream where I can help people to sustain their learning, means make it last for a longer time, and actually implement it in real life. Otherwise, what happens is that we are all knowledge junkies, you know, degrees, diplomas, more knowledge, more this, more that, we are accumulating. But how much are we using when the need arises? So what I realized is in the doing mode, in the should mode, jo hai, we have to remember, we'll have to carry a checklist. So it'll be a checklist of some 200 items which I should do. No human being can remember that, right? On the other hand, if I be a certain kind of being, which happens jab andar se transformation hota hai, okay, then you will automatically be like that. You know, like your habits will become formed in such a way that you'll be living your life in such a manner. Okay, then we will have ease and joy. Now, can you imagine if you have to remember all those strictures and dogmas? It will not be ease. Now, oh, like, oh, is situation make, what should I do in this situation? Where's my handbook? Let me look. It will be a bit difficult, right? Now, because of EMC and because we are every day being here, you know, certain things become a part of our thinking and being, isn't it? For example, now almost everybody started saying this. Every experience is an opportunity to become a better version of yourself. It's become a part of our breathing, if you ask me. Stop blaming and start living, right? So slowly and slowly, we are like that. So we are being, uh, what shall I say, in allowance. Then when we forget, we start getting into acceptance. So at least better than uh, resistance. So good, thank you. As usual, very interesting conversation. Okay, anybody else, anything you'd like to say? Otherwise, I'd like to end this meeting today with leaving you with that thought, okay? When you define yourself, you are confining yourself. You're limiting yourself. Okay, so we've got two people who raised their hand. Let me see who they are. One moment, Chidambar, first Chidambar. Yes, sir. And then we have again the Puja Kiran. Go ahead, Chidambar. Hello, Chidambar. Are you going to say something or shall I let Puja speak first? Okay, let's not waste time. Pooja, you speak first. Sir, it it's also depends on our state of mind. And... Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Your connection is not good, so we cannot hear you. So let us listen to Pooja. In the yeah, Pooja, go ahead. So, I mean, the moment you are feeling or experiencing that vastness and you are in that space, nothing will limit you. And the thought and the feeling and emotion, something happened and you restricted yourself. So, you, you are behaving in that manner for that point of time. So, it's always uh, depends on our awareness and state. So it's my own thought, my own feeling, my own emotions. 
maybe i'm holding myself back and when i'm in different state i'm and some somewhere else and i am taking a lot of action and meeting a lot of people and there are no boundaries so it's all my creation i just wanted to say that okay good thank you very much yeah also consider you said some very interesting point here if i am in a state of expansion you know when i expand myself and i am operating as an infinite being then i will not be defining myself correct that's what you said but have you thought that why are we not able to remain in that state for long when you remember it oh i must expand myself then have you ever managed to spend the whole day in the expansive state probably not because the moment the everyday work and you know the chores of the day jo rozmarra ke kaam hote hain when they take over you forget to be in that expansive mode i have seen some enlightened people they'll be always in expansive mode even if they are making a cup of tea and the way they are making the cup of tea you would see the difference in them you know yes so see Sir, so you know instead of thinking too much and over analyzing that is a characteristic of all landmark forum people i am noticing they are doing more analysis analysis than this thing now stop this analysis paralysis and allow yourself to be in an expansive state yeah so we don't have to think about why this is happening and this and this and this and this because ultimately it will come to because my father married my mother and blah 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 so there's no use of that right let's be here now and see okay, what's happening now all right just be aware be aware where your attention is going ka dhyan kidhar hai right and if you allow yourself to be in an expanded state see how easy life is right Everything yes is flowing right so tumko to pata hai tum meditation bhi karwati ho right so that state is not meant to happen only when you are meditating state right now if you are in the work and you are in a crisis you'll say acha one minute huh? i'll just do some meditation and come back can you do like that no so you have to deal with it as it is coming right yeah i so, i can just take uh, a moment a pause or breathe i can just do that max maybe, at that yeah, point maybe so after some time you won't even need to do that you will always you can just be in an expanded state when you are in an expanded state you will be mindful you will be more present and when you are present you can create anything problem yeah. is you are not able to remain present na yeah we we got stuck to maybe our mind always goes to those part which is not healed or which is not sorted and our attention going back to those points again and again maybe brain is putting that in plate you need to do something about it itna bhi nahi sochta hai brain you are reacting instantly and your brain is not working when you are reacting by the way yeah. you are reacting or you are resisting one yes. of the reasons why we are resisting is that we are so quickly judging tuck this is not okay tuck react tuck resist kitna sochta to bhi hai mind ye to all these thoughts which you are sharing they are after thoughts yeah jab ghatna ghat gayi hai fir hum soch rahe hain ki acha iski wajah se hua hoga blah 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 but when it's happening you are only reacting no so when you are yeah. in an expansive state you are not being reacting you are just seeing it happening things are yeah. occurring you are observing and you are not getting involved in it so much therefore you don't react and therefore you don't resist also and that's why life is full of ease and joy yeah so get into this uh, judging mode which is a predominant mode by the way all the thinking people know those who think too much घुमा फिरा के जजमेंट ही होता है या व्हाई वुड यू बी थिंकिंग सो मच बिकॉज़ यू आर नॉट ओके विद व्हाट्स हैपनिंग ना यस कुछ हो रहा है यू आर सेइंग नहीं 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 ये गलत है ये नहीं होना चाहिए देन यू स्टार्ट गेटिंग इनटू ओ व्हाई इज इट हैपनिंग इट मस्ट बी हैपनिंग बिकॉज़ आई एम डूइंग लाइक दिस एंड बिकॉज़ आई एम डूइंग लाइक दिस दैट्स व्हाई इट मस्ट बी हैपनिंग सो व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ गेटिंग इनटू द माइंड अगेन द माइंड इज द वन हु इज कॉजिंग द प्रॉब्लम एनीवे why more mind why more thinking 
Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Which then, इससे छुट्टी मिलेगी ना आपको. So you'll have, you know, when you get freedom from your so-called logical mind. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. And you be in this thought, well in this thought. If you want to carry on and discuss till eight o'clock, I will leave the meeting, and you can carry on with the Rama and Vetri and Konen. They will give you a lot of insights and advice also, which is what you might be looking for. ठीक है. Or I can close the meeting right now. So what do you want? Should you continue it or shall we close it? Sir, we can close it. All right. So see no, you. No, sir. We want to continue it. I have to listen to Vetri. My core team member. Okay, see you. Bye bye. One more joke. Priya, कुछ सुनाई नहीं दे रहा है मुझे. Konen sir की शायरी रह रही है. अरे हाँ उसको कुनेन शर्द की शायरी रह रही है उसके बिना कैसे जा सकते? Thank you, thank you, thank you. देखो जी आपके कितने चाहने वाले हैं कुनेन साहब. हम सोचते हैं जनाब. प्रिया जी के लिए प्रिया जी डेडिकेटेड टू यू के ए फूल ए फूल मेरे फूल को ये फूल दे देना ए फूल मेरे फूल को ये फूल दे देना और उससे कहना तेरे फूल ने ये फूल भेजा है वारे वारे वारे। और उससे कहना कि तेरे फूल ने ये फूल भेजा है इंग्लिश में तो Your your fool has sent a flower for you, <laughs> or you can say your flower is sending a flower to you. Oh flower, yes. Oh flower, give a flower to my flower. <laughs> How wonderful is that? Kone 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 puts you into the right mood, sir. Where you want to be today? Ah, last week. Last week. Last week. Last week. ठीक है ये हमारी मेन साहब बैठी हुई है यू वांट टू विशर यू कैन डू दैट वाव गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेरी वेरी हैप्पी बर्थडे हरिता जी वी विश यू ऑन बिगाफ ऑफ एवरीबॉडी वी विश यू अ लाइफ ऑफ पीस जॉय एंड ग्लोरी एंड एवर हैप्पीनेस ऑलवेज स्माइलिंग थैंक यू ये ऑल राइट बाय देन हां वी वुड हैव मिस्ड दैट इफ थैंक यू प्रिया इफ यू आर नॉट डन दिस ये मौका नहीं मिलना था Yeah, ma'am. Very happy birthday, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Bye then. Have a good day. God bless. Bye.